<laughs> Judah, I need to finish this quickly so we can post it. So we can edit and post it, okay? Shane. Hey, babe. I need to take him to his dad. Babe! Oh, it's cold. Well, hello, hello, Malisha Nibonse. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tembi Fletcher, if you're new here, and I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. So, I have a very exciting video for you today. I'm going to be sharing some luxury items under $10 that you can get for you. Special female in your life, so be it your sister, your mom, your grandmother, your aunt, your cousin, your wife, or your girlfriend, and I also have a variety of things that you can start shopping for. Wait, somebody's at the door before Christmas, so give me a minute. I'll be right back. Yeah, so that was my boo, but anyway, what was I trying to say? What was I saying before? Yes, I want to bring this video out there as quickly as possible so you can get enough time to go hunting for these treasures for your um, loved ones and that is your sp the special females in your life and yeah so without further ado let's get right into this video so one thing that I want to just put out there or get out of the way is that luxury is definitely a relative term I know most people consider luxury to be um, luxury to equate to quality or the craftsmanship that goes into creating something and that is definitely true but unfortunately I feel like most people including myself you know I used to think that as well most people think that something can only be luxurious if it has a high price tag so we're talking about it has to be a name brand like Balenciaga, it has to be Hermes for it to be considered as real luxury. But that couldn't be far more from the truth. And now that that is out of the way, let's get down to the really exciting stuff. So I think I'm going to start by sharing some, I think I've just got like a few beauty products that I want to share with you. These are definitely considered luxury goods in my opinion because they have been doing wonders for me and you can definitely get these online. I'm hoping that by the time this video gets out there, you, you have a chance to be able to purchase these for your loved ones because I will say that it t takes at least three weeks for them to arrive so I want to make sure that you have enough time and so the first one that I wanted to show you is this little capsule um, what's this capsule skincare and this is a uh, hyaluronic acid it's 100% hyaluronic acid and it's just in these little capsules and then all you have to do when you're doing your skincare routine is you cut this open and you put some on your skin and it's the right dosage, it's the right amount and it actually really works. Now the reason why I'm saying that this is a luxury good is because I have tested out really expensive skincare over the past couple of months and so in comparison to that skincare this works just as good if not better and so I am I am saying this confidently because it has been working wonders on my skin I have seen a major difference at first I was a little skeptical because this is under five dollars on Aliexpress and I was thinking well what are they putting in there I'm hoping it's not just like you know weird stuff or whatever because usually like I said if something is cheap you think it's not well made but I guarantee you that these are the real deal and I absolutely love it love these capsules and I also love the fact that it's the right dosage so if you're heavy-handed with your products like with your skincare like I am I always use way more than I need this is what you need and this will definitely make your skincare lover mom or sister or whoever it is um, really really happy to have these for Christmas so these were like I said they were under $5 I think they were like three or something I think with tax so very very good I think shipping brought them just right under $5 so 
great product another one that I am absolutely loving or one that I will say is in abundance on Aliexpress as well is for the makeup girls in your life I've got these lashes these are called individual lashes and I've already used some of them they are absolutely perfect they are under five dollars as well and the thing about lashes on Aliexpress that I found they have real mink on there and most of them um, are usually under five dollars which is perfect because when you go to stores like Sephora or you check on um, you go to Ulta Beauty and stores like that their lashes are extremely expensive and so if you're getting real mink lashes you're probably paying like thirty dollars just for one pair or at least over ten dollars just for one pair but usually I get like larger packs off of Aliexpress and they're always under five dollars and I love that and I'm not necessarily much of a lash wearer but I do love that I know where to go when it comes to uh, using when it comes to buying lashes and so I actually want to show you something else that is going to work hand in hand with these lashes because I want to put them on for you if I do wear lashes I've been using the individual ones because I think they just look a lot more natural and I look more like myself versus if I have the other ones the more dramatic ones I wear maybe like on a special occasion or I'm filming or something like that but for everyday wear I'm going to show you how I put those on and this is where this baby comes in this is also under five dollars but this happens to be you can't even see like the rhinestones on there you see those rhinestones there we go oh focus come on focus 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 anyway it's not about the rhinestones I just wanted to show you the packaging it is so gorgeous but this happens to be an eyeliner stick uh, a two-in-one it's an eyeliner and lash glue stick so I don't know about you but I never I haven't seen this anywhere online before except on Aliexpress and when I came across this I was like okay I need to try this just to make sure it works oh, I put a bit of stain on there so it's pretty dark but the good thing something that I love about this I've used it twice already and I think I'm going to just put it it's what I have on right now but I didn't put any false lashes on today because I was rushing but I'm going to put the false lashes on as I after applying this this might be a bit difficult because I'm using the viewfinder just so you can see how it works okay I'm just going to put a little bit because I can't really see in there and I've got one of my individual lashes I'm just going to put it down like so and it's going to dry on do you see that it's on there it's not coming off and voila so this is <laughs> mind blowing for me and it is just life changing because I hate the fact that sometimes you have to use I hate the fact that when I use lash glue you can always see it like above like here let me close it do you see any glue on there nada next nothing so this is why this is so amazing because I hate the fact that I don't because I, I don't necessarily know how to put lashes on really well and so um you always see the glue on top like on top of my eyelids like on my lash line and it always looks horrible and then the good thing too is that it dries so quickly it doesn't take a whole minute and a half just to put them on et voila they are on there this is amazing isn't it and now I'm I feel like I need to put another one there too just so we can finish this look off but that is done my lashes are going to stay on so I think it all depends on how much you put on there I put this on I used this I think last week and my lashes stayed on it was a pretty windy day so when I stepped outside I didn't experience any flyaways or anything like that they were on there perfectly 
but taking them off is actually a lot easier too because with the glued lashes I have to wash my face first because I don't like you know irritating my natural lashes because you end up pulling out your natural lashes with the glued ones because the glue sticks to your natural lashes with this one it's super easy did not hurt and but all the same I usually just do the same thing is I wash my face first like wet it first with the glue so that way they can come off a lot easier but yeah that is that but this is this is you know what this is like life-changing this is very innovative this is real innovation right here just look at that I never have to worry about messing up my face again well, we need to keep filming so just look at that took no time at all and my lashes are on took no time at all and I'm not joking it's not like I just stuck look they're not coming up you see that it's on for good baby it's on <laughs> so you definitely need this stick I think if you have a loved one who's really bad at putting lashes on like I am or who doesn't like having that glue sticking out and just looking really tacky which makes the lashes look extremely fake as well you need to get them that for sure so I'll have this stuff linked down below and now I think that's everything that I have for like um, skincare as well as makeup and now let's move on to um, some jewelry so this jewelry is definitely this is some of my favorite jewelry of all time it cost under ten dollars it's very very high quality and I love it so the first one I'm going to show you are these they're like um, glass it's kind of like glass jewelry but I don't think I think this is more of acrylic but this is Korean jewelry very very beautiful very very intricate just really unique and this is from brand a brand called Kailoki if I'm not mistaken these were under five dollars and the silver I've had these for at least three months I have wet them a couple of times because usually sometimes I just wash my jewelry to get all the grime like grease and stuff off and still looks amazing as you can see the silver has not worn off at all it is not um, it does not look cheap and they're actually a pretty good weight to them they have a pretty good weight to them but they're not heavy on my ears if you get what I mean for the price I think they are great great quality if I were to buy these maybe like at Zara or any other luxury like jewelry brand because most luxury uh, jewelry jewelry brands don't really like they have like real gold or real silver but it's not always the case and I'm just I'm just putting that out there yeah so these are great quality another one are these rhinestone earrings very very pretty love these these are like my everyday loops well not loops but like hooked earrings I guess I could say and I absolutely love these these were under five dollars as well very pretty and then I also have these they're by Kailoki they're Korean brand as well and they're just like a little heart with um, houndstooth pattern and they are real gold well at least I think so I think they're like two carat gold or something and these were under five dollars and then I have these real leather hoops as well that were under five dollars and what else do we have I also have these from the same brand I love this brand obviously you'll be able to tell now that this is one of my favorite brands to purchase jewelry 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 from <laughs> and this is like a mix it's silver and gold eardrop teardrop earrings and so like one the silver is at the top the other one the silver is at the bottom and I think they're just so sophisticated so beautiful for this a girl who just wants that really timeless jewelry these were under five dollars as well and then what else do I have um I also have these baroque uh, freshwater pearls 
So these are man-made. They're not the natural pearls. They're man-made freshwater pearls. So they're real pearls, but they're man-made. They were, you know, they somebody, um, how can I put it? Um, an actual person put, um, an I think it's an applicator type of rock inside the oyster so that it could create these pearls. So these are like farmed pearls, basically, like you, you farm them. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this was also under $5. Very, very beautiful. I haven't seen the gold fade at all. It is just so, so pretty. And so I'll have that link down below for you as soon as possible. Well, when this video goes up, these will be linked down below. And now let me move on to some accessories. Well, these are all accessories, really. Some glasses. These are, um, what can I say? They're not shades. They are spectacles, I guess. But they're not um, prescribed. Got these off of AliExpress for my husband, actually. And just look at the design so so classy they look so expensive and I actually wear these too I wear them as well he says I look real cute in them so <laughs> yeah but these cost under five dollars as well very very heavy very very good material yeah and they're just fantastic super fantastic so if you're looking for like shades even um I think you can also find name brand like high-end brand high-end shades on there as well i have seen some vendors who sell like the luxury brand uh, shades on there for way less than what you'd see them online so i don't know i've never bought them from them it's a little bit shady to me but i kind of don't We'll, we'll talk about that next time. <laughs> That's not for this video, but yeah. And now moving on to the rest of the stuff is going to be thrifted, but I wanted to make sure that this is stuff that you can easily find at the thrift store, but is extremely high quality. And the first one are these gold earrings. So these are real gold. I found these, I think, where did I buy these from? The Salvation Army. And these were like a dollar. Real gold. You can see very very heavy as well they're vintage earrings and so if you are um, your mom or your sister love jewelry and they love like the nice uh, bespoke jewelry this is what this is something that you can find for them at the thrift store you go to the Salvation Army Goodwill make sure you check the jewelry section it's going to be you're going to love it. You're definitely going to love what you find. And now let's move on to some fashion items because I know that I'm pretty sure you have somebody in your life who loves fashion like I do. It just has to be someone. First and foremost, I think I'm going to talk about scarves. Scarves are definitely one of um, one of many items or fashion items that you can find at the thrift. But the reason why I brought up scarves is that I always find really good quality scarves at the thrift store. So here's the thing about how I do my shopping. Most people say, well, the thrift store, it's usually like stuff that's picked over. It's not well curated most of the time. And it's really not like, it's not sourced well. And so people take it that if you go to the thrift store, you're paying for low quality goods. But that's not always the case. So my tip uh, for your bargain hunting is to go to small towns. So like the town that I live in, it is a fairly small town. It's not that small, but it's smaller than Dallas. And so thrift stores here are a lot cheaper than thrift stores in the city, in the big city, because, you know, the population is a lot smaller here, so you can find really good items for less. And then at the, another thing that I do is I go to either garage sales or sometimes estate sales, not so much, but uh, there's a lady, actually she like 
uh, clean clears out like estate homes and stuff like that and she goes to storage wars so she usually finds these amazing amazing quality items goods and she sells them for pennies on a dollar because she has so much of it so I think you need to find places that have just a lot of uncurated stuff it's just like really messy and there's just so much of it you end up paying way less than if you go to places like um, like you know antique stores and stuff like that where everything has been sourced and curated because that's what antiquers is it antiquers like people who who sell antiques like when people go to the Rose Bowl or they go to um, what's that one there's another one in Austin I don't think that's the Rose Bowl the Rose Bowl is in uh, California, I think. But they are people who go to those uh, flea markets usually spend a lot of money because those are well curated. But then one thing they don't realize is that the people who curate items or goods for those flea markets go to towns like mine. They come to towns like mine and they sell, you know, they source this stuff from people that I source this stuff from. And so they're paying very little money and marking it up because they don't, you know, they don't want you to have to do the searching. It's convenient for you and everything. So, and I know they put in a lot of work to source these items because I put in a lot of work when I'm doing this, but it's fun for me, definitely fun. I'll do it any day of the week. <laughs> and so that's the, that's the, that's the secret, I guess I can tell you. So I definitely have always been able to source really amazing pieces for very little money. And so I want you to have access to that as well. So scarves, this is a mole hair. I think it's like 50%, what, what is it? Um, I'm trying to look for the tag. Yes, this is 70% lamb's wool, and then it's 20% angora rabbit hair, and then it's 10% nylon, and it was made in Hong Kong. Beautiful, beautiful scarf. I mean, if you bought this for your loved one, even though it's thrifted, I mean, you don't have to tell them it is, but I'm hoping they're not too bougie to not want something that's secondhand. But <laughs> But the thing is, if you got this for me for Christmas and I saw the tag and said, oh my gosh, it's Angora rabbit hair and lamb's wool and, you know, whatever, 10% nylon, I'd be ecstatic because this is amazing quality. And for this quality, you'll be paying an arm and a leg at, let's say, Hermes or Gucci or, you know, places like that. I mean, even Zara would mark this up pretty high so definitely a must you can find scarves at any thrift store that you go to so just look make sure you check the tags see what you find i'm pretty sure you find something amazing another thing that uh, another item that i wanted to share that would be a great christmas present are blazers and the reason why i brought up blazers is because not only Will you find them in abundance at the thrift store? They are such, such great quality. And in my opinion, they're even better than most retail stores. I have been, t excuse me. I have, I went to the mall, I think a few months ago, checked H&M and Zara and I was looking at the, you know, I like to touch the fabrics and feel the quality of some of these things. And a lot of them were just not impressive at all. I'm not saying that everything there is bad. I mean, if you love Zara or H&M. But I was so disappointed. I mean, for the price that they were selling them for, even some of the name brand goods, like in Nordstrom, I was pretty disappointed. And that's because I have been, you know, I've gotten used to this type of quality where everything is structured. You know, you've got tweed going there. It's, you can see the craftsmanship. It's such great quality. Look at that. I mean, why would you want anything less? And on top of that, I think even the winner is that, um, the winner for me, or the biggest, um, the biggest perk for me is that I pay, usually pay less than $5 for these coats or these blazers. At least less than $10 is what I will say. And, I love them. So, so pretty. 
you buy this for your mom if she's a fashionista or your grandma or your sister or aunt are you telling me that they're going to be upset and what brand is this this is ranches and western wear made in the usa so just just look at the inside as well just like the craftsmanship of this hi judah just take a look at that take a look at that i would not be mad at you if you bought this for me for christmas i would give you a big kiss if you did right a big kiss thank you no you're not disturbing me while i'm filming mister say hi <laughs> So that's that. Blazers are a must. And here's another one that I wanted to show you. If you want something that's a little bit more... Um, ah! Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. My son is a bowl of energy. Yeah, so if you're looking for something that might be like a little bit different, a little bit more um, relaxed, when it comes to blazers, you can find that at the thrift store as well. This cost me a dollar at the place that I go to. Beautiful as well, fantastic quality. And like I said, this is better than, oh, my skirt. <laughs> my skirt is coming down, excuse me. This is better than, you know, some of these stores that we shop from online. <sighs> so I won't even go going to detail about them because I will get into trouble. I see so many videos about these stores online and hey, to each their own. I'm not judging anybody from, you know, I don't want to become that stuck up person who judges people for their decisions. So everybody has the right to make the cho their own choices. And so I'll just leave it at that. And then another one that I think you are definitely going to love. This is for the bougie women in your life the real bougie women. I'm talking about the women who like to, everything is, their nails are done, their hair is done, their hair is done, their, their makeup is on point. They, they wear fur just to go to the grocery store. <laughs> These are the types of women <laughs> that you can get this beautiful coat for. I found this at the thrift store as well. It was, oh, and it's got pockets on the inside too. It is absolutely fantastic. I don't even know who it's made by because there's no branding on it. But just take a look at the level of craftsmanship and the luxury and softness. I need to try this on for you. I just have to. I think I'll keep it on just so we can, for my thumbnail, just so you can see just how bougie this is. Do you see this? I look like a madame, don't I? Just one of those, you know, ma'ams out there who only, you know, eat caviar and drink champagne. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> but I'm a simple girl. That's the thing. I'm a simple, bougie girl. I love my bougie coats, but I will eat chicken feet as well any day. So I just put that out there. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. Something else that I think you can find for your loved one is real leather. This is New Zealand lambskin. It's 100% leather and it's made in Korea. Found these leather pants at the beginning, no, I think at the end of last year. And I will tell you the quality is chef's kiss. Now, here's the thing. If I were given the option to buy leather that's full leather, let's say at Zara or places like, you know, just to buy retail from retail stores, I'm pretty sure that it's going to cost, it's not going to be cheap. It's not going to be too expensive, but it's not going to be cheap either. But if I were given the option to get something like real leather secondhand and only pay about four, what, five dollars? Yeah, these pants were like about five dollars, right? or to buy something brand new that isn't even the real deal. What would I opt for? It's a no brainer. So there you have it. It's falling off. 
<laughs> there you have it. Well, here's the thing. I don't know if you can find tons of leather because most people snatch it up when they find it at the thrift store because it's just that good. And it's definitely on trend in this season. So, but one thing I will say is that when you find it, snatch it up. You definitely find different types. You can either find the leather purse, leather hat, uh, leather pants, leather skirt, leather uh, vest. There's so many different types of leather leathered goods that you can find so if your loved one loves leather make sure you jump on the boat and get that as soon as possible before it's gone because you might not find it it might not stay there too long yeah and so now another thing is that I wanted to show you is this beautiful leather uh, toiletry bag uh, from American Tourista they are I would say they're not necessarily, I, I consider them a high-end brand because what they make is extremely good quality. This is real leather and it's just fantastic. It's so structured, it's great quality. I've been using it ever since, like every time we travel, this is where I put out toiletries and it's just like been, it's held up ever since I started using it a couple of years ago. So, so beautiful you can see there and it's also got you know the pattern on it and the little feet on there too it's amazing quality and this was five dollars so if you have somebody who travels a lot in your family you get them this they're absolutely going to love it definitely going to love it and yeah that's everything I think that uh, to do with fashion and now let me move on to the decor lover in your home or in your family or the decor lover <laughs> in your life so we can get all of these out of the way and get done with this video before this boy just yeah okay sweetie hey baby can I can I get this stuff out of here please let me get this out of the way and then you and I can hang up yeah oh my gosh you'll be fine I'll be out in a minute yeah anyway so now for the decor or interior design lover in your life um, I'm going to say what, what can I show you first let me start with this let's start with teapots the one that I'm showing you right now is blown it's a blown glass teapot sorry my son's in the background and a lot of the times if you watch my videos you probably hear my kids in the background so that's just how it is over here this is how we live out here in these parts but yeah this is a blown glass teapot very very beautiful it is who was it made by saint saint oh man it might be on the inside it's scott 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 main scott mains i think yeah i think it's scott mains i'm not too sure but just look at the intricate um intricate design of it so so pretty this is definitely one of my favorite teapots the reason why i wanted to show you this is for your tea lovers although your interior design lovers they're definitely going to love stuff like this you know if they collect dishes and stuff like that this is one way to go. You're definitely going to find some really intricate china teapots or even glass teapots when you go thrifting. And so I definitely wanted to bring that your way. And then I also wanted to show you some glasses. These are wine glasses. And they are so, so pretty. I guess I would, I don't know if you would call these fluted glasses, but just look at how beautiful beautiful glasses got a pair of ten of these for about two dollars and that's what I love is that I can thrift something this intricate and this beautiful for about two dollars and people will think I buy all my stuff from um, CB2 but that's the thing is that brands actually take inspiration from vintage a lot of the times and so when you see it at the store you think you're seeing it for the first time but they basically just kind of took inspiration for, from something that is older that was designed a long time ago ago and is so so beautiful equally beautiful so that will be for your maybe your um 
yeah just your bougie woman <laughs> the bougie women in your life I think they definitely appreciate that uh, another thing that I wanted to show you are these vintage vases these are definitely everywhere at the thrift store and they are just oh my gosh just look at how beautiful that looks so so beautiful so beautiful love 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 the finding these at the thrift store this was probably like a dollar or a dollar fifty maybe even less than a dollar and it is great quality you know it was handmade and just you know handcrafted so lovely and then i wanted to show you frames as well in case you have somebody who loves like picture frames ornate picture frames you can definitely find tons of these at the thrift store and i'm pretty sure that um the the women in your lives would love these for sure those who love interior design and love like vintage design these are always uh, in abundance and then I also wanted to show you this picture frame something that I did with this one in case you want to like personalize your gift a little bit more look at this ornate frame very beautiful it's ornate it's heavy it's pretty hefty and it has the uh, velvet lining real velvet and also has like the turquoise on the inside or is this teal like the teal so basically what I did with this frame is I just decided to get a piece of pink paper and I made some abstract art for it and it looks you know it's personalized now it to my taste and it also looks like an art print that I bought from a gallery right I bought this at a gallery and all it is is just abstract art that I painted myself and it just says love never fails so I love this this is definitely one of the ways that you can personalize a gift for your loved ones this year and they'll definitely appreciate it so you don't even need to be artistic because these are just letters and so you just kind of have to, you know, do what you got to do with it, you know, get creative with your gifts this year, but it'll be so much cheaper too and so much more priceless in my opinion because that frame cost me about $2 and when people see it, it's always a conversational piece. People look at it and they're like, you know, oh, where did you get that art from? And they're like, oh, I just thrifted it and I made the artwork, the print myself and it just it just feels a lot more expensive and luxurious in my opinion and yeah so that's something that you can consider doing for your, your loved ones this year and then uh, second from the last I wanted to introduce records if you have a music lover in your family and they love listening to vinyl you know they have a vinyl player record player Getting this for them is definitely going to make their day. I have been thrifting vinyl vinyl for over a year now since my husband bought me, no, not over a year, I, I'm lying, almost a year because I got a record player for Christmas last year and so I've been collecting records. We've got Thelma, Thelma Houston over here, very beautiful um, artist, I think from the 60s or 70s. And we've got Italian music here from Mancini, uh, Henry Mancini. And then we also have some Christmas music. And we've been playing this already, really been enjoying it. And I think that's just going to be a great way for you to um, create a collection for them, a music collection, you know, try to find out what type of music they like. Do they like old music? Do they like soul or jazz? And you can collect these for very very cheap these were like I think 20 or 50 cents a piece so you can get quite a lot for ten dollars under ten dollars and then the good thing about this as well is you save tons of money because my husband got I think um, one Republic record for me that was the first first record that he bought for me and it was over 35 and just to, for you to get a collection buying um, recent music or recent records um, it's going to be really really expensive so this is one way that you can keep it cheap but also keep it meaningful and luxurious as well and then lastly but not least I wanted to show you uh, something behind you let me see if I can get this right quick Ugh. let me not flashy over here excuse me yeah 
Lastly, but not least, <laughs> you're seeing all kinds of stuff in here, huh? I wanted to show you mirror, a mirror, this mirror, because this is a really great quality mirror that I thrifted. And I'm not just showing you this, you know, I'm showing you this specific one because it's the one that I could really just pick up. But I've been thrifting mirrors since, whew, it's been a couple of years now. And all my mirrors are equally unique, great quality, always heavy, just so, so beautiful, well made. And I usually buy them for less than $10. And no matter the size, I think the most expensive one that I bought was from Facebook Marketplace, but that one was an antique. And so... I think I paid like, I paid less than $50 for it, but other than that, all my mirrors, whatever size, are usually less than $10, and they're such great quality as well, so if you like vintage, like if the women in your lives love vintage uh, mirrors and stuff like that, make sure you go thrifting as soon as possible because you're going to find tons of those, and yeah, that's that, so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you in today's video. Please let me know um, what you think, if any of this was helpful. And I'll also make sure that I have the items that I can link down below linked for you. So that way you can get to shopping as soon as possible so they'll arrive in time for Christmas because I don't want you to, <laughs> to come for me. You know, it does take at least, well, let me just say it takes about three weeks for most of these items to arrive so the sooner you start the better and the good things like I said they were all under five dollars which is just amazing and yeah that's that so make sure you check the description box out and then also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and ha happy hunting to you I hope this video inspired you to go uh, hunting but bargain hunting for some Christmas gifts for the females in your lives or the women in your lives uh, for Christmas I wish I had included some oh my gosh my son is just off the rails right now yeah I wish I had included um, young girls uh, gifts as well I might do a video like that maybe in the near future maybe sometime this week um, and show you some of the things that I've thrifted for my daughter maybe over the years that she still loves and are extremely amazing quality as well and then yeah that but right now I think I need to say good night because my son is not happy that he's not in here with me and so I'm going to have to end this video right here thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you again next time love you all god bless bye